Well, who would have thought in Jersey's Royal Square there would be an echo of dynamite that threatened the fabric of the Roman Empire? And the dynamite is this crib. Well, at least the story that it tells. And it tells of two groups of people that start to gather together around uh, the Christ. The first that were there were the shepherds. And at the time of Jesus, those people were considered so disreputable that if they were to give evidence in court, it was inadmissible. There was no place for them. They were, as Mary and Joseph, homeless, sleeping in the fields. They were people that dealt with blood and amniotic fluid and were considered ritually unclean. And yet they were the very first people who were invited to come and visit the place where Jesus uh, was born. And then, of course, the second were the Magi. And the Magi were rich and powerful, strong enough in status to meet Herod face to face in his palace and rich enough to have gold to give as presents. And they also came to visit this Christ child. And so it is this crib that's been here since 1955. And it just represents the birth of Jesus, the story of the incarnation of God among us, Emmanuel keeps alive this dynamite that threatened the Roman Empire, that for the first time, the Magi, the powerful people, and the shepherds would build a new community where all were equal and all would have equal access to Christ. It's as if the Gospels are saying, if we can have the Magi and we can have the shepherds, we're wide enough in this new gospel of grace and love that has come in Jesus for everybody to be included, but they would have been considered equal. Paul would write, uh, there is now no uh, Jew or Gentile, uh, free or slave, male or female, for all are one in Christ Jesus. And that threatened the very fabric of Roman society, which was all about hierarchy and privilege, it blew it apart because it said all people are by grace received in and no claim can be placed upon privilege. And actually this building behind me is where John Wesley preached, I think it was in 1787, that saying good news that everybody but everybody is equally loved by God and invited to respond. So this crib with all its beautiful figures keeps alive a message for us today that Christmas invites everybody, all people, to be treated equally, fairly, and invited to discover the life, light and love that comes in Jesus. So my prayer this Christmas is, Lord God, may we build communities of diversity and of richness of different people, where all are treated equally, and that we may gather around the glory of God Emmanuel and celebrate the gift of life, light and love to all he brings. Amen. And I hope you have a great Christmas. <laughs>